ਨਾਲ ਫੇਰ ਬਰਾ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਯੂ ਯਾ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਹੀਅਰ ਓਕੇ ਓਕੇ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਹਾਊ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਆਮ ਫਾਈਨ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ I'm okay. Hi Rodrigo. Hi Julia. Hi Maribel. Hi Saida. Can you girls hear me? Rodrigo, can you no. hear me? I I yes, the chat. All right. Very good. But it's a little difficult. Yeah, I think it's because of the rain. Isn't it raining by your house? Yes, it's raining. Yes, there is a lot of rain over here as well. Right now we are listening to you but you sound just like too far away. Yeah, I know. I listen I can't listen very well. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. yeah. I I know. Well, it's very it's it's been very difficult because it's really really raining here in my house. So I don't know. I'm screaming right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
sure. So, uh, and, uh, were you able to download the PPT I sent? Yesterday. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, as I was saying, we're talking about attitude questions, and I know it's very difficult, but attitude questions, the topic itself is not so complicated because it talks about the attitude of the speaker that you guys are going to be listening to. Okay. So, as I was showing this before I went away, uh, we have, we need to understand the attitude and the feeling of the speaker, okay? So when we say feeling, it's like angry, upset, happy, frustrated, sarcastic. annoyed, sarcastic. All right, that would be like more like the attitude, okay? So here we have the question structure. Usually this is, what, this is how they look like. You're going to have, for example, what is the professor's attitude that is really, really straightforward, all right? Like how, what is the attitude or what is the student's attitude? It's not only about the professor, it can be about someone, all right? In this case, is what is the professor's attitude? When you read these type of questions, you need to understand that you're looking for attitude and feelings, okay? The other type of question, it can be what does the student think about? And then it goes on, all right? Or the other one that is mostly, like the most commonly used is that number, is number three. What does it mean third, all right? When it's in third, it's not really said on the listening or on the text. You have to imagine it, right? You have to imagine it somehow, all right? So the inferring is like, okay, I said, I listened that Jessica is, for example, said, okay, whatever, all right, so what is, like, what is your, uh, how do you infer it? Maybe you say, well, maybe she's angry, maybe she doesn't care, maybe she won't do anything about it, okay, so you you infer, it's not that I'm telling you, but you kind of, like, imagine what's going to be happening or what, or how she's feeling, all right? Okay, then we have, it gives an idea about the attitude of the speaker. When you listen on the audio, it says, uh, it's in, the speaker is talking on the listening and somehow she says, it seems to me that blah, 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 all right? So that it seems to me that is the key of the, the this is for attitude and feeling, all right? Or if you listen within the, the, the audio or the listening part that she or he says, what I think is, all right, that's also an attitude question, okay? And then you say, oh, okay. So this is getting to the answer somehow, okay? So these are like keys or like cues that we have. And we say, okay, so after this, she's going to say how she feels about it or what her attitude is about that, all right? Yeah? Okay. You guys are listening, following me, yeah? Yes, yes I do. All right, very good. Okay, if you have questions, stop me and you can uh, ask me, okay? Then we have here, the tone of voice, okay? The tone of voice, guys, we know that in any language is very important, okay? It's fundamental. Sometimes your tone of voice is relaxed. Sometimes it's nervous and we can hear it, all right? Uh, when you're giving... Some people get really, really nervous, all right? Maybe you can, like, you're not looking at that person, but you can hear his or her tone of voice. And you say, ah, he's a little nervous, or she's a little nervous, all right? Oh, no, she's relaxed, or he's relaxed. Another um, tone of voice can be calm or emotional, all right? Some people, like, they get really emotional when they start talking about politics about religion all right they get very emotional all right sometimes they get too emotional that they even cry or they get too emotional that they get angry all right so we know that right or depends on your tone of voice you can hear that person certain about what he or she is saying or confused it's like uh, um yeah but um you know so it's not only the tone of voice but everything else that goes with it but the tone of voice is key. It's a key element. You need to be listening to how they sound, 
okay? And we're going to do some practices here. Another one can be, another tone of voice can be enthusiastic. You say, hey, hey, how are you, you know? And, and you're very like enthusiastic mm -hmm. about, you know, it's nice to see you, Freddie, and whatnot. Or I said, yeah, whatever, yeah, okay, next class, uh -huh, whatever. And you're bored, all right? And you know what? Sometimes you don't even look at the person and you know how they feel. One that is very, like, like we always, I always do it as a teacher is when I say, for example, how are you? And everybody says, fine, or I'm fine. And that's not true. We're not always fine, all right? So it depends because you can say, fine, but I can see that you're not so fine. You're saying fine, but you don't sound fine. Or I say, so how are you, friend? He's like, fine. And I can hear the tone of his voice. He's more than fine. He's super good. You know? So it depends on the tone of voice that we use, okay? So here on the uh, listenings that we're gonna listen to, that we're gonna listen to, we're gonna listen to their tone of voice and that's gonna help us a little bit to understand their attitude okay that that's the whole purpose of the class today all right can you think of any other tone of voice that you guys use a lot and that you or that you have heard about other tone of voices that we can like say ah she is in love all right when she's like hi how are you and you know you talk like so sweet and whatever and you're saying, well, she's in love, right? Or I don't know. Can you think of any other tone of voice, guys, that you have used or you have heard? Anybody? Tone of voices? Sad. Sad. Very good. When you're sad, you're like, I'm fine. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not fine. All right. Any other tone of voice besides uh, sad? Do you yes. hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Rodrigo. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Freddy, can you think of any other tone of voice? Um, I don't know uh, what is the correct word to say. Adormitado. Asleep. Like sleepy, like a sleepy, oh. kind of like drowsy, like yeah, uh -huh, whatever. All right, yeah, okay, very good. Drowsy. Another one, Saida or Maribel or Evelyn. Julia? Mm. Angry. Angry, yeah, for sure. All right, angry is like... Tired? Yes, tired also, very good. Okay, so as we know, there are many, many different, like, tone of voices. Sometimes when you listen to my, my tone of voice, you say, oh my goodness, she's not having a good day. Angry. <laughs> All right, or oh, she sounds tired, like, hi, I'm fine, you know, but your eyes, like right now you can be looking at me, but sometimes you can only hear, you can only hear me, but you sound like how you sound, you know, like how you feel at that moment. Okay, I want to do this practice, all right, and I want you to just, I want everybody to read this sentence. This is a simple sentence, and everybody's going to tell me the sentence. Just read it, like, normally, all right? Freddie, you're the first one. Can you read that sentence, please? Okay. I never said they stole the money. All right, very good. Robert, can you read that sec the sentence, please? I never said she stole the money. Perfect. Rodrigo, can you read it? I never said she stole the money. All right, very good. Julia. Julia, are you there? Yes, but I can't see anything. You can't. Why not? I don't know. I I see only a, a red. Uh, you don't see it here. It's right right next to the red square. No. Oh. Okay. Just give me a second. Saida, can you read it? Can you see it? Yes, I yes. can right now. Okay. Okay, Julia. I never said she stole the money. Perfect. Thank you. Saida, can you read it? I never said she stole the money. All right. Evelyn, can you read it? I never said she stole the money. Perfect. Maribel, can you read it, please? Maribel? Mari, you're not there, Maribel? All right. Very, oops. All right, the idea here, all 
Uh, guys, can you see me now? Yes. I don't know what I did. I can't see you. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Okay. So everybody read the sentence, all right? And everybody read it perfectly, okay? But now, what I want you to do is I want you to read the same sentence given. I'm not going to tell you where. I just want you to, to read the sentence or to tell me the sentence being emphatic in one word. For example, you can say, I never said she stole the money. And the, the meaning changes. It's different when I say, I never said she stole the money, that if I tell you, I never said she stole the money. Where is the emphasis? Guys, if I say, I never said she stole the money, where am I being emphatic on? Never. Aha, uh -huh, Rodrigo? The, the first is in, is in the start. All right, so if I say, I never said she stole the money, do you listen to my voice being a stronger in one of the words or not? It's the same. Never. Guys? I think that it's stronger in said. Oh, okay. I never said she stole the money. Are you sure I said that at the beginning? Sentences, I never said she stole the money. Where am I being emphatic on? In the subject. On the subject, on I. I never said she stole the money. He said it. That's, pr that's probably what I'm saying here, okay? I'm inferring that I didn't say it, that he said it. Yeah, you understand that? So what I want you to do, this is the exercise I want you guys to work on. Read, you're going to read, everybody's going to read the same sentence but I want you to be emphatic on one of the words. Do you understand the exercise? Yes. yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right, Saida, can you read the same sentence, but now I want you to be emphatic on one of the words. Okay. I never sell, she stole the money. Okay, all right. So your emphasis was on said, yes? Yes. Very good. Freddy, can you read the same sentence? Be emphatic on one of the words. I never say that she stole the money. Yeah, your emphasis was on never, all right? I never said she stole the money. Julia, can you read it? I never said she stole the money. Excellent, I never said she stole the money, right? Very good. Robert, can you give me your sentence, please? I never said she stole the money. All right, so where's, where are you being emphatic on? I'm being emphatic on said. All right, also on said, very good. All right, Rodrigo, can you try? I never said she stole the money. Ah, stole the money, very good. Manuel Fuentes, can you read it? Yes, uh, I never... Uh, she stole the money. All right, very good. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. All right, I guess he cannot hear me. All right, very good. Evelyn, can you read it, please? I never said she stole the money. The money, very good. All right, so if you notice, it's a very simple sentence that we can all read it and we all understand it but everybody was emphatic on a different word. That gives me two things. The meaning is different and the attitude is different, yeah? That's the whole purpose of this exercise. The meaning is different if I say, I never said she stole the money. So what I'm saying is, my brother said it, I didn't, all right? I never said she stole the money. I meant he stole the money. So the meaning is very different in one sentence. You understand the exercise? Yeah. Okay, this is what I want you to listen to right now. I'm gonna show you a video, a guy saying the same sentence with different tone of voices and being emphatic on the, in one of, uh, or in, on all the different words, okay? So pay attention to that. I'm gonna show you that right now. Hold on here. Hold on, hold on, just give me a second. I have it here.
Okay, this is what we're going to do. Hold on, guys. Just give me a second here. Okay. Let me see if I can just share the audio, not the whole thing. Dixon. Tell me if you listen. Hold on. Can you listen? Well, obviously I'm not fine. Even though the text says I'm fine, Can if you, you look listen? at the transcript, yes, yes. my yes. nonverbal communication, my tone of voice says I am not fine. And there's a sentence on the internet that's only seven words that I've been seeing all over the place when you look at tone of voice and so forth that I want to share with you. It has only seven words, but depending upon how you emphasize those words, the meaning of the sentence changes. So here it is in the basic sense. I'll just say it straight one time. I never said she stole the money. So I tried not to emphasize anything there. And now I'll do it where I repeat it, but I emphasize different parts of the sentence each time and notice how it changes the meaning. I never said she stole the money. 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 And I never said she stole the money. So I'm hitting those words every time I say the sentence a little differently and you can hear that it changes the meaning almost completely. So our vocal cues added to our words, our overall tone of voice shapes the way we are hearing it. And you'll notice it's very hard to say. All right. Were you able to listen to the different words he emphasized? Yes. All right. Yeah. So this is that, that's exa exactly what we, why or what we did that for. And it's because I want you to understand the different ways we say things, all right? And that changes the attitude, that changes the feeling, that changes the meaning, all right? And that's gonna help you to understand the exercise that we're about to do. Do you have questions? No. All right, very good, okay. No. Okay, so let's go on here. Okay. So here we have, guys, we have this one. This is the first exercise we're going to do. The audios, you already have them because I already sent them to you. So I'm gonna send you to your groups. I want you to listen to the audios for number one. All right, for number one, which are four questions. One, two, three, and four. And then when you finish that one, go on to the other second exercise and then go on to the third exercise. So you're gonna work on this one Exercise first. L20. And then uh, this one, the, which is the uh, question, all right? Listen to a conversation. Listen to part and of a And then this is the other one, all right? So we have three, um, we have three questions. Well, we have four, five, six questions. Four in one, and then you have two separately, all right? What I want you to do is open up your audios that I sent to you, and then you can work on it. Yeah, you understand what we're going to do right now? Okay. All right, very yeah. good, thank you, Julia, very good. All right, so we're gonna go to your rooms. Uh, everybody has the PPT, right? Yes. Or the audio, yes. everybody's got it, okay, very good. I'm sorry I'm asking, but I want you guys to work on it right now. I'm gonna go check on your groups anyway, if, you, um, if you're doing the, right, hold on. Let me just, again, hi, Freddy. Okay, so here, anyway, we're gonna have four groups. Be patient if the person that is supposed to be with you takes a while, okay? But, but I mean, sometimes it takes a while for them to get in. There you go, open up all your rooms, please. Go to your rooms and start working on your PPT. There is the icon so you can listen or you have the audio separately, whatever works for you. Freddy, yeah, got it. All right, Julia, Guillermo, very good. Sandy, all right, I mean, Maribel. <laughs> Maribel.
Okay. And tomorrow you have you will go. No, I'm working from house. Ah, okay. Okay. Hi guys. Do you hello? Do you have the audios or you can share or you can listen alone? <laughs> <laughs> we can share. Okay. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, hi teacher. Hi. Do you have the audios, Rodrigo and Guillermo, so you can work with on the presentation? Okay. Uh, yeah? I, 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 yes, I do. Okay. I have three audios. Yes, you have three audios, that's right. Well, the one that says attitude, the one that says attitude is the, is the audio for the first four questions. Okay, attitude. Yeah, that's the, the first audio, okay? The second audio is oh. the professor and the student, and the third audio is the police station. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. See you. Okay. Hi, yeah. Hi. Freddy, Julia, and Manuel. No uh, guys, the first, I'm sorry, can you pause it? The first audio is the, the one that is called attitude, all right? That, that audio is for the first four questions. For the next question is the one that the professor and the student, and the third audio is the uh, police station. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Exercise L twenty one. I try to I try to share only only audio because the I think it's maybe campus police. Uh, guys, Robert San as uh, Maribel and Saida. The first audio for that question is attitude. Okay. Okay. The second audio is professor and a student or student and professor and the third audio is police station okay 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 all right okay and that's the order okay the first one is attitude the next one is professor and a student or student and professor and number three police station okay okay, okay. thank you thank you
the teacher sends the uh, the option or just the audio? Sorry. Hi. Uh, no, it's because I don't have these choices. You don't have. Yeah. But there are a, a, a choices for the woman, for the woman and for the man. And yes. It's, it's you need to check for the different feeling in the, the for the person in the, in the conversation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You guys have the answers too, right? The choices? Yeah, I, I got it. Yes. Okay. I, yes. I did it. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the same, number one, and uh -huh. letter A, the woman is critical, and uh, the man is forgiving. I put defensive. Defensive. Or defensive. Yes. This, okay. is the one, this is the one right now that you guys are working on, right? Yes. This one right here. Yes, yes, you're right. right. Okay, so the woman in number one, what do you, how do you think she's uh, doing? Critical or offended? Critical. Yeah. Critical. All right, very good. What about the man? Defensive. Defensive, right? And what are they talking about? Defending the books. All right, the comic books, very good. Have you finished number two? Yes. Yes. All right, Manuel, what do you have for number two? The woman is? For me, the woman is sympathetic. Sympathetic? Sympathetic, sympathetic. yes. Ah, are you sure? Mm. Excited. Or excited, but excited. for me, it's, it's very complicated. Okay. Yeah, all right, what about the men? How do you think the men uh, is? Interested. Uninterested. Uninterested, very good, mm. all right, yeah, very nice. What about number three? The woman is uh, enthusiastic. enthusiastic. Excellent, very good. And the man is welcoming. Um, welcoming. Welcoming, welcoming. Yes, very good. And number four. The upset. man is upset. The man is up. It's upset. Very good. And, and the woman is helpful. Sarcastic. Oh no 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 no. Um, what is sarcastic or helpful? I just write the, the, the feeling of the man. The woman is helpful. <laughs> helpful, I wrote sarcastic. <laughs> Sorry? No, for number four, the man is uh, upset and is helpful. Okay. Helpful. Okay. Have you done the other two questions or not? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Good job, good job, good job, guys. Very good. I'm gonna go to another group right now, okay? Okay. okay. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, Guillermo. Um, okay. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Um, good morning. I am. Uh -huh. uh, yes, um, I am. Uh, listening the audio of the attitude. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Um, see, uh, I am so sorry uh, uh, because uh, of the of the rain. Uh -huh. uh, uh, there are some interference I know, I know. Uh, it's between. Very yeah. Okay. I understand uh, yes. that the same uh, thing happening in my house. It's raining cats and dogs. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, right, but have you finished uh, this? Can you see my screen right now? Uh, can you guys see uh, my screen? I only, I, I can see the, the, the slide. Aha, uh -huh, very good. All right, have you finished these four questions? No teacher, no teacher. No, yet. Not okay, uh, that's no, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Yet. Okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, yeah. I am so sorry. No, that's okay, that's okay. Work on it, don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm so sorry. Hi, Roberto. Hi, Maribel. Hi, Saida. 
Hi, teacher. Have you finished everything? No. Ah, what happened? I think so. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, what number are you working on right now? Well, the first one we think that the woman is suspended and as well the man is defensive. Excellent. It's very good. Yes. So for number the, one, yeah, sorry. The for the for number one, the woman is often uh, it's just like critical of the of the it condition. Critical, yes, okay, okay. And the man is defensive. Excellent, very good, nice job. What about number two? Have you finished number two? At the number two, I think that the woman is uh sympathetic and the man is just like in interest all right for number two is actually excited the woman is excited the man is uninterested uninterested uh-huh have you finished number three Teacher, I, I did the number four. I think the man is upset and the woman is sarcastic. But the, the other man one is upset for number four, yes. Uh -huh. and, and the, the woman, woman is, is sarcastic. Ah, you know what? It's actually no. it's actually helpful. Ah, uh, it's helpful. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. But the man okay. is upset, yes, that's okay. okay. And what about number three? Did you guys work on number three or not yet? Not yet. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Keep on. It's okay. Keep on working, guys. That's okay. You have like 10 more minutes.
I think her name is. Tell Miriam what you need, and she'll direct you to one of the statisticians there. You know, someone who can tell you the best way to set up experiment in order to get your statistics in a meaningful form. Then that procedure needs to be explained in your proposal. Okay. I better do that right away. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Proposals have to be in before the office closes on Friday, and you're going to want to have a clear idea of how you're going to deal with your data. Thanks. Bye. Uh, just a minute, Angie. Yes? Before you go, there are a couple more points. Let's see. I wrote a couple of comments on this draft you gave me. Oh, here you are. My concern is how you've defined, or I should say haven't defined, your subject. You mentioned that you'll be testing non-native speakers' linguistic recognition of certain English stress patterns, but you haven't clearly defined the group of subjects. Well, I've made contact with a group of international students who are willing to work on the project. Yeah, I know, but there are some issues that the committee will question. The proposal as you have it seems, well, somewhat like comparing apples and oranges. We've talked about your subjects being given an oral fluency test so that you can choose subjects with about the same linguistic level. But you haven't made that clear in your proposal. The committee will say that the data from, let's say, a tonal Se quedó solita, Maribel. Maribel. Hi, teacher. Hi, Maribel, se quedó solita. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you working so, with, teacher, Maribel? I am, teacher, I am, I am working with, with two computers, the laptop and the PC, so I, I am a little bit enredada. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> oh okay, that's okay, uh -huh. Maribel. Maribel, ¿con quién estaba trabajando? Roberto y Zaida. Sí, es que están... Creo que todos estamos teniendo problemas con, con la Inter. With the rain, raining, <laughs> because, because of the rain, it's, yeah. It's raining, uh-huh. All right. So, so I think the letter three is, no sé, the, the woman I have, I, I'm not sure, but the man I think is, the doctor is welcoming. What letter is it? Can you tell me? Letter three? Le Number no, three. no, no. Number three is the woman I'm not sure. Maybe uh -huh. it will work. The man okay. is welcoming. Okay. Is that okay? No. Hold on, no. Que no la veo. Espera, <laughs> number, number three is the man is enthusiastic. The man? The no, 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 the woman. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, ah, okay. Welcoming. Aha, uh -huh. welcoming. Yeah. Welcoming. Uh -huh. Very good, okay. Maribel. So, so. <laughs> yeah, very nice. I am, I am learning, teacher. Of so, course you are. Okay, uh, so we are only two. You and yeah, me. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> we're gonna finish because I have the other class. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Maribel. Good night. The, the audio, the, the second one, the police the station. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, hello. hello. Hi, hello. teacher. Hi. Guys, I have to go because I have the other class. All right? For, I'm just going to tell you the answers. Yeah. Keep on working later, okay? Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, for this one, for number one, I'm just going to repeat it. For number one is letter A and letter T, as in day, okay? Yes. For number two, uh, yes. it's letter B and letter D. For number three, mm -hmm. it's letter B and letter C. For number four, it's letter A and letter C. Yes. For the next 
This one, what can be inferred about the student? It's letter B, as in baby, okay? And, whoa, and for uh, this one, the last uh, question yes. is letter D. What can be inferred about the student? He drives to campus, it's letter D, okay? Okay. okay. All right, guys, I'm very sorry okay. that the rain is so heavy. Okay, <laughs> so thank you very much for being with me. Tomorrow we'll okay. study the other type of question. Okay. Igual ya tienen la presentación. Si en caso no terminaron, pueden terminarla. Si ya corroboran la respuesta, y si no entienden por qué, vuelvan a escuchar. Okay. 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 Bye. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you so much for being in class. Bye. 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 Okay. Good.